Well, well, hey guys, it's Bomb Channel 007. How's it going? I'm gonna share a gleam boost and a roam boost here with you guys on this video today. Um, so let's see what we can catch. Um, just before that, if you do not follow me on Twitter, please make sure you do. We do lots of giveaways, Zoom competitions, um, just have a bit of fun and a bit of communication, which is always brilliant. Um, so there you go, guys. That's it at Connell 007. Make sure you do um, give us a follow or, or join us there and get involved. That'd be awesome. Um, if you're new to the channel, guys, uh, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, please hit the subscribe button um, if you're returning guys thanks again for returning back to the channel so as i mentioned i'm going to go for a 15 minute boost um, in uh, bullet corp uh, ideally what i would love to get is i would love to be hitting for um, an alpha or a gamma patrol uh, it's the only two i don't have um, as you can imagine now as you can see i've already got gamma guard drone and i've also got um, alpha guard drone as well on the scorbs so it'll be pretty cool to have it um, if i hit anything on the roman um, with the in terms of the you know, if we get like a Mutagon, Protagon, Duskid, Ikazuna, it's always an added plus. So let's see how we get on here. So as always, um, when you use your boost, what you want to do is make sure you're in location, you've checked your time, so sort I of have a rough idea when my time's going to end, which means I don't have to keep checking my boost, because that will waste time. If you're using a boost and you get distracted, like you have to go do something, you have to go get something, eat, whatever it might be, um, instead of letting your timer go down, don't forget you can always just nip and in, swap into the trade resort and it'll actually pause your timer, which is always pretty good because I know uh, you know a lot of people have to spend Robux or you've got a free boost and it's very limited. You don't want to waste that time where possible. Um, what I tend to do is I lead off with my Duskit, um, which has a nimble nature. So if you do not know um, why I've got Duskit in front, it means there's a 50% chance that that Lumion that I catch can share the same personality. So say for example, if I use a Duskit, we fit the chance of that. If I use Brawny and so on and so forth, you want to have ideally a single nature Duskit as well. Um, so it, it is very worthwhile to ensure you can pick them up. If you can get your hands on one on Trade Resort, happy days guys, happy days. Um, as you can see, I'm not wasting time. I'm moving back and forward um, constantly. Um, as long as you're on the move in an area, so if you're hunting the grass, make sure you stay in the grass. You don't want to be going outside of the grass. Um, I tend to just kind of like hold um, me up for a wee while and go back down to, and then hold down for a while. You could move around in circles. It doesn't matter what you want to do. I find like working in one area usually is best as well. Whenever you're you're hunting, try and give yourself the best chances as possible. Um, oh, that's a corrupt patrol. Like. Come on, someone's out to troll me here. A corrupt patrol. Again, if you run into a corrupt, no point hanging about. Just get rid of it. Just get it and get the shard. Love the music though. Dun, 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 dun. So three minutes in, look at a corrupt and a health shard. Happy days, we'll take that. And again, what you want to do is just keep moving. There's Bentley barking at the dog, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe Bentley is trying to call the dogs out. Maybe we will get maybe we will get an alpha or gamma patrol. Um even if we don't get an alpha or gamma, we could just catch something for you guys. But so far we've also got I say we've got a, a corrupted so far within three minutes. It's pretty decent. Shards are pretty important, especially if you're gonna have like a Protagon or a Mutagon or Ikazuni or Dusk of potentially around in your PvP team. You're going to need shards, so I know it's bad getting corrupted, but it's not that bad at the same time. It's always a benefit. So we know the UMP is going to be coming out soon. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm wondering what... There's bound to be like a, a rare or like a, a mythical or legendary um, that's going to be in it. Is it going to have fossilized eggs again? Is it going to be kind of the same thing? Is there going to be more than one? Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Like the thing is, see when whenever you if you played Pokemon Brick Bronze, you had the UMV, and like like it was really hard to get a fossilized egg. But when you got a fossilized egg, um, you had like an eighty-five percent chance that it would be a Togepi, and you had a really rare chance it was like five percent. It could be like Mesprite, five percent of Zell, five percent for Uxie. Um, so it was pretty rare. So are the percentages going to be kind of around the same? Like you, you have no idea how many Togepis I ended up with, and that wasn't. You know, that was just for loot, just from diving. It was crazy. It's like, am I going to get something rare? Oh. 
Ruf gar nicht gesehen. Okay, what I want to do is go on to hypnotize it. And then we're gonna swap in the yellow one on this thing. Can't really do much yellow one at the moment. Awesome if this is a secret ability. How oh, you know what secret ability is? It absorbs um, electric moves. Oh, well, wow. okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, what? Well, go for the tears. If he absorbs it, well, not secret ability. No, it's not. It's normal ability. Okay. So we'll go more sparing down. So ideally, what you wanna do is try and get a status effect on it. And the words health. We've got a critical hit, bring it, that'll save us some time. Because you only use Thunder Chomp. Alaguana's lightning rod. It's just gonna do no damage to me. Happy days. That's fine. Actually should have hit to use there. Hit spare. Tia's might actually kill it now. So let's go for a disc, and if not, I can always swap in the I can always swap in a dusket and then just put it back to sleep. So I need if we can get a status and we can kind of lower it down the red, it makes it easier. Or we could just catch it, which is even brilliant. Bring it. Okay, so seven minutes in, we've got Nikazuni. And um, again, just for speed, I'm just popping through these. We'll have a quick look at its nature. We'll hit number one, Ikazuni. Again, to keep my pure nimble, just like my Duskit. Uh, we'll not even talk about those UPs. But as you can see, seven minutes in, we've hit it corrupted so far, and um, we've got Nikazuni. Beautiful. We'll take that. Again, you don't want to be sitting wasting your boost and marring something, so again, I'm just trying to maximize my time out. I can sit and look at these all day long whenever my boost is gone and done. Um, I have roughly about eight minutes. Also, know what your hotkeys are, so if you want to keep, if you're, you know, if you're on a, a laptop, um, I know my boost button is six, so if I hit six, it'll bring up my timer, so I can just quickly glance at it, see where it is. If you're on a phone, guys, I know it's slightly different. Just hit your menu and know exactly where you're hitting. So if I hit six now, if I have eight minutes left, again, I'm not sitting on that, but eight minutes on my, gl my gleam, and I've got three minutes left on my room. So again, I'm, I know where my time is. Checking my clock on my laptop. I know exactly how I'm getting on. But this is what you want to do to try and maximize your best chances. Um, I do have the, the game passes. So game passes are pretty important. Um, the secret ability game pass, if you do not have it, you actually can't encounter a wild secret ability. Um, and you can get a, your secret abilities from rallying. Um, if you do have it, you can get a, you can obviously encounter the wild secret abilities and your rally chances are a lot higher. Memory serves, I think it's about 1 in 126, I think. And whereas it without, I think it's 1 in 252. Um, could be wrong, but it's around that anyway. Okay. So it's very important. Um, obviously then you get your Roman pass and your Gleeman pass. So if you are going to hunt it properly, um, it is worth spending the Robux on it, to be honest with you. Um, so let's see. So we've got probably about six and a half, seven minutes left. My Roman timer is probably going to come to an end. Hopefully we can get a Gleam. This would be a really good boost if we can. It's really good actually having this. Um, anytime I do share kind of a video of like Gleam or Roman boosting with you guys, it always seems to do really well, um, which is pretty awesome. One thing I do sometimes as well is, well, sometimes when I can, I try and get a, a stream in. And if I can get a stream in, guys, I can make sure, you know, I can get you guys involved in the chat. Um, sometimes if I get like doubles, for example, if I get like three or four Alpha Chomp Hackers away in the last one, because I've had so many of them, I might just do a game or a quiz question to give them away as well. So if you are subscribing, make sure your notification button's on so you actually don't miss out. It's very important if you want to try and get involved. Plus, it's always good fun as well. Um, I can't believe how we're getting on so far, guys. We're um, our sub goal for August was to try and get to 250 subs. Um, you know, we've just hit 500, which is unbelievable, and the channel's growing and going from strength from strength, guys. So that's all down to you. Um, I really appreciate it. In the comments section, if there's anything else that you think that you would like to see, um, please do get involved and let me know. Um, also, if you enjoy the video, do hit the like and all that beautiful stuff. Um, so let's get back into it. Um, we've got probably roughly about maybe 
five minutes or so. Um, again, I don't want to be sitting hit my timer and wasting my time. I just want to try and get as many encounters as possible. Um, again, we just run, 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 unless it's something of you know that we know is going to stand out. I've obviously got my headset on, so I'm listening. So even if I'm doing this for like ages, and I'm doing this for hours, the sound is really important. Um, that ping, for example, lets me know that we're gonna we get a gleam in. That music potentially change, it means that we're gonna get, you know, uh, a rumor. Um, although Power Mind is one thing that doesn't. Um, Power Mind's a weird one. Everybody kind of wants to know what the classification of Power Mind is. Now, the four rumors that we have at the moment, let's call them legends for, for easy talk. They have um, the highest base stats together. Paramind doesn't. Um, when Paramind evolves, Fairglyph has the same amount of stats as the starters, believe it or not. Um, I think the encounter is like 1 in 300 for a Paramind as well. Um, and it's not actually impacted by any of your, your charms or anything like that. So it's kind of a, an unclassified, um, you know, how you would find it. It roams in the sense that you can find it anywhere in the map. Um, so it's, it's a weird one, but again, it doesn't have any music, it doesn't give you any alert whenever you, you do find them. Um, big thing with Paramind is the level, the completion for level 64 mastery, as you can see in the top right hand corner, I'm level 64. Um, once that's completed and I get to 65, which I can't do yet because I'm at the maximum, um, there is, a, you will get a Ferroglyph saddle for free, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, so Paramind is going to be really in, in demand. Okay, Scorbs, let's go. We'll do a quick time check, just again hitting 6 fast. We've got okay, 348, so it's called 4 minutes for ACCX. six. Just check on the clock, and know where I am, and know where my time is. Let's see, hopefully we can get another encounter on. Usually I say it's about 3.5, 4 encounters per minute normally. What will we end up with? I don't know. So even if we went on that kind of base, it's at three and a half, four. We're probably looking what about 15, 16 encounters left, give or take. Okay, let's see. If that is the case, we should hopefully um, be able to count them down from here. So let's call it number two. Let's see how we get on. Again. If we can get an alpha or a gamma patrol in this video, it would be just the cherry on the icing, guys. It would just be, just put everything together, it would be pretty awesome. Okay, last couple of minutes again, just making sure I'm moving as fast as possible. Come on, give me something beautiful. Scorb, scorb, scorb. Again, keeping an eye on the time as I'm hunting. Just so I know where I am. Let's go. Are we going to get anything else? Come on. Scorb, scorb, scorb. Come on. I'll probably open up um, some sort of giveaway. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll get some sort of giveaway um, on Twitter. I've got quite a few at the moment. Um, I've got an art competition due to the end on the 1st, um, which is tomorrow. I've got, um, I've got, I think, another competition. It might be for the gammas. It's due to the end tomorrow. I'll put four gammas up. Or three gammas, I think, I can't remember. Um, I've got the four Romans competition open, and I've got seven times 40 gum pods open on Twitter as well. So those are all running, to, I think, Wednesday or Friday. But I might open another one midweek if I can get something, you know, to see what I've got left on my inventory. Okay, score close to your time being up. We're getting close. Oh, 55 seconds, so we'll probably have maybe three to four encounters. Depending on how fast they come in. Could you imagine we hit something in the last second? That would be pretty cool. Come on, 
Give me a gleam. Give me a gleam and that would be perfect. If I can get a gleam in these last two. Oh, it does want to play ball. Have we got one more left? No luck. I'll go for another one just in case we got a bad time. Yeah. So no gleams that time. But we end up by Nikazini, which is pretty awesome. Another one for the giveaway. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'm glad I shared a hunt with you. Um, as you can see, you're not always going to get gleams. But, you know, those two encounters, pretty good either way. Um, let me know how you're getting on with your boosts. <coughs> any tips that you have, anything that you're going for. Or even let me know what your, your best claim that you have as well. Guys, I've been one Colonel 77. Keep it country.